All right, guys, uh, we're running down the line of the free VSTs in my plugins folder. Going alphabetical, so if you uh, see some things up in the top here that you haven't checked out of mine, you can go back into my VST folder and check those out. Now, I did skip over Captain Plugins, which kind of deserves its own slot. And that's going to be a long-winded one for me because I have a very long history personally with the developer and things like that so overall decent product but i've got some yeah you know but uh we've uh over well we skipped over some other ones too uh that are just not the full versions like the creek box and things like that we're not going to mess with that stuff so um here we are we are landing at max synths Chris Crisis? Chrysalis? Chris Chrysalis? <laughs> I don't know how to say that. Uh, yeah. You can go ahead and, um, you know, pronounce that any way that you feel like it. And I'm not going to hurt myself uh, today anyway with that. So we are looking at a three oscillator little beast here. Sounds really good and kind of fun to play with. Uh, definitely has some... Um, you got some sequencing over here, a little sequencer. Um, can we we can uh, open that up and and play with this here too? This one looks pretty uh, pretty cut and dry, pretty straightforward. But without a uh, uh, without further ado, let's go in here and kind of just uh, we can see how everything's kind of flowing here. Uh, oscillator one, two, and three going to uh, filter one and two. And we have that sequencer over there. Now we have a uh, effects uh, bank here that has some other banks that are is that are within the bank banks within the banks, and we can touch on those and highlight them too. And as well, you can see as uh, you know, when we touched on the sequencer over there. It opened up for us. Uh, these are drawn in some. Um, uh, what is it? There's some some volume. Uh, Envelopes. I don't know if there those are connected down there. Not quite sure. I maybe think so. And then we got an LFO one and an LFO two down there at the bottom. And in here in the bottom right hand corner, we can see that we have a little matrix here. Nothing too uh, fancy, but there is one here nonetheless. And you know when these things first came out, I, I that was I really appreciated something that was cool like this and. This has definitely been in the arsenal for some time now, so you know that uh, this is kind of a big deal. Uh, it still is. It sounds it has a really good, rich sound. Let's go ahead and just uh, just for for me here. I want to configure the the two filters over here just for my own personal flavor here. So as we're messing around, we can. Hey, you know, you can get kind of a little fun there, you know. Uh, let's go ahead and dive into some of these presets over here and see what that's all about. We can play with this thing here. And uh, let's see. Nothing really see if, uh, if you want to check it out here. I forget where everything is at on the screen. And I just started throwing the screen around. Let's go check out some like a few more of the sequencing here. Yeah, so that's, you know, odd. And hold on, listen, just for my uh, 
just for my understanding here. Nope, never mind. <laughs> for my still not understanding. I'm in the same place. I thought that I was going to be controlling something like, uh, and I was looking over in the matrix for uh, some kind of uh, the auxiliary envelope gating thing over here to be cut connected to one of the, the filters through the matrix or something, but I was totally wrong. Anyway. Oh, yeah. Ooh, that one felt good, man. You know? That just felt good. I mean, if you didn't want to throw up after that, I mean, that was... That's, uh, I mean, when you need a sound like that, I mean, that's uh, good to have. But it's pretty rich. I mean, everything that I've, I've played with here so far is, uh, I mean, I had to use anything. I'm just randomly grabbing stuff, too. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Uh, sink a quarter, slow that down to a half. There's step one and step two. Oh, okay, okay, and let's go over to the FM. Ah, that was right, okay. My matrix understanding was way off before, so... And I'm not sure what this little button thing does. See, it turns into a butterfly. That's cute. <laughs> I think it's just a preference. <laughs> you know? I am down with it. I'm not hearing anything different on it, and I'm pretty sure I played with this before. It's not my first time asking this question, so... All right, guys, let's check out some more on the, let's go into some BS. Let's go into some BS, some BS. this stuff I mean back then you'd have been like oh I'm so sick of this but now you start hearing this and you're like man I love this stuff you know some throwback uh go ahead and dirtify this man get some isotope uh trash up on here <laughs> just just dirty it up yeah right there right there Yeah, you know, some aftertouch in there would be kind of cool. I don't see that in there, but hey, man, you can't just get everything that you want. All of this stuff are free. And uh, hey, you know, all you got to do is just uh, have some kind of a 32-bit wrapper for this. So um, this can be gotten over um, pretty much anywhere via VST Planet, VST for free, VST Warehouse. Um, if you just type in this name, uh, you're not going to have any kind of problem with going to find in this. And... Um, you know, maybe uh, we'll talk about how I set up my folder because I definitely have like a dedicated folder system for my VSTs. You know, I 
do weird things like naming them like a a a a my vsts in both my um my programs folders for both sets here so maybe we'll talk about that uh um towards the end of these uh that, that we uh the whole list that we're going down here on the left hand side though uh the free vsts they're, they're mostly free in the in the list here I did skip over Captain that we said about, and next will be uh, Daedalus, so uh, stay tuned for that.